Ishi college roommate gets the ISHS. I lived in a quad my first semester at uni. I was a transfer student while my three roommates were all freshmen. I never really talked to any of them because I have really bad anxiety. We each had our own bedroom, with two bathrooms to split between us, as well as a common lounge space and kitchenette. Because of my anxiety, I didn't always feel comfortable going to the dining hall. It wasn't a big deal though, because I was able to have my own food stocked up. I noticed that my milk carton kept being moved around the fridge. In of itself, it wasn't a big deal. The issue was that whoever was moving my milk was using it without my permission. I'm a non-confrontational person. I started clearly marking the milk carton with lines each time I had any milk as a passive way to say, I know someone's using my milk and I'm keeping track now, so back off. No success, so I decided to step up my game. I was 99% sure I knew which roommate was drinking my milk, and she wasn't the one I was stuck sharing a bathroom with. So when the milk ran out, I went to the store to buy a new carton and the cheapest powder laxative I could find. If no one was going to acknowledge that they were stealing my milk, I wasn't going to either. It's my milk, so why should I have to tell anyone that I put a whole bottle of laxative powder in it? After that, I never had to draw lines on my milk carton or worry about anyone taking my food again. Edit. To clarify why I went to such lengths, this roommate was known to take things from other roommates' rooms if the doors weren't locked, even after the other girls asked her to stop. She came into my room one time when my door was unlocked and closed while I was taking a nap and I caught her in the act of trying to take a handful of my tampons. The one time I did confront her about something, using my dishes and refusing to clean them, she literally started to scream at me until we got a noise complaint. Point being, this girl couldn't be reasoned with and it felt like this was the only way to get my point across. Another edit. After seeing a similar theme in the comments, I want to clarify that I'm not trying to use my anxiety as justification for my actions or say that I'm innocent in this whole situation. I only mentioned my anxiety to try to better put things into perspective. Looking back, I can assure you that I am aware that what I did was extreme and I wouldn't repeat it again if given the chance. Since then, I've been diagnosed with more mental health conditions that I can clearly see influenced my thought process at the time. Again, I am not using my mental health as an excuse for my actions, I understand how it might seem that way and apologize for any misunderstanding, but to try and give a fuller picture of the situation from my perspective. My roommate tried petty revenge and it backfired on her. I'd consider my roommates, A and B, good friends and we get on well most of the time. We do have our normal problems though, and this is the story of the most recent one. B and I are currently preparing for exams, A has hers later in January. So it's pretty quiet in our flat right now, B and I go to bed early, wake up early to study. A is enjoying her free time, goes to bed at 1 in the morning and gets up at 9-ish, sometimes later. That's fine with me, I'm just envious of her free time. Unfortunately, she kept waking me up by turning the lights on or generally being noisy. No big deal, I tell her politely to keep it down. But it doesn't stop and after a couple of days of being woken up past midnight, I'm pissed. Annoyed and tired as I was, I text her a link to a website with the time that is customarily considered nighttime in our country. They are from 10 pm to 6 am, widely common and federal lawsuits are sometimes based on them. I text her to again please be considerate of us and that I'll be happy to keep it down when it's her time for exams. I was passive aggressive, I know. But I thought it was really inconsiderate and I had had enough. This is where she tried to be petty. Each night, until 10, she listens to music or watches movies without headphones, is loud in the kitchen or invites friends over. This is unusual, and I realize what she's trying to do. However, A doesn't realize that B and I don't go to bed until 11, so it doesn't bother us at all. But I do get up at 6.30 and if she's being petty, so will I. I wait until B is awake, because I'm not trying to annoy her. Then, I unload the dishwasher, forgetting to close the kitchen door. I brush my teeth with my electric toothbrush, again forgetting to close doors. I might not have closed the front door as gently as I usually would. I might have woken up at 8-ish by doing all of these things. But it's past 6, so. A stops being petty at night after that. I'm not woken up again past midnight. We also talked about it, apologized, and it's all good now. But how she didn't see the flaw in her plan, I really don't know. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a good one.